Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just another video coming back to you. I woke up this morning and uh, I did update the game to check it out. And it does look like new figures were added, so let's go ahead and check them out. So, um, of course, they're going to have a sale, you know, on gems. You'd spend eight bucks and get like almost 900 or so gems, which is pretty cool. So that might actually be worth it, because I mean, um, there's another cool, cool thing. At work, we will go over here in a minute, but um, let's see. So, they added new figures 11 new figures have been added. So, they have Verizion, Skeptile, Trevenant, um, Grovile, Lilligan, Crobat, Swellow, Scruppy, Chikorita, Phantom. So, they have a whole bunch of different figures, and they do have some other figures that are actually available again. Greninja, so I really wanted a Greninja, so I'm gonna try to probably get that. So that's what I was actually saying for my material, so I was gonna buy him. But uh, there's probably not a need to now since he's available again. So these are pretty much all the figures that you have to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll check them out real quick and then just see what they're like. And then uh, basically, the other cool thing that I've seen that I haven't even seen yet, I've seen them on YouTube before, but I've never seen them actually in the game, and that's the sextuple packs. So, um, basically you do have a limit of five in order to get them, but you can get some pretty good figures out of here. So, go ahead and check the box content. So, you have the chance of pulling a ho -Oh, Latios. Metagross, Manaphy, Mew, Infernape, Yvettel, Moltres, Articuno, Delphox, Lugia, Latios, Mewtwo, Rayquaza, Torterra, uh, Empoleon, Xerneas, Zapdos, Chestnut, and Greninja. So that's pretty cool actually. So those are just pretty good EX figures um, as far as the service goes. So I mean you do get six of them. I am currently saving my gems right now to try to uh, basically get some more gems so I can go ahead and exchange a couple packs because right now you are guaranteed at least one EX so that is something that's pretty cool what's going on right now so I uh, definitely like that as well so they do have the regular boosters as well if you want to do a quad pack but it doesn't really guarantee you a rare or anything so I definitely would not do that so um, but other than that, I mean, let's check out the wheels on this. So, this is a 2MP Pokemon. Let's go ahead and check the details. So, this Pokemon can move over non-flying type Pokemon on the field. So, it basically can, it's almost like Moltres is a sword. So, you can basically move past other Pokemon. It does have the uh, Sword of Justice, which is kind of strange. It has a one-on-one -on -one attack. So, you, it's almost like it's chain level, like when you receive it. Then it has uh, Grass Knot. So basically if the battle opponent's attack is damage is 120 or higher, the opponent is knocked out instead of this Pokemon. So like for example, if you roll this attack and you go up against Deoxys attack form, you uh, you knock him out instead of getting knocked out. So that's kind of cool, that's different. So I did have a Trico in here. Um, I was wondering when they were gonna put Skeptile in here, but let's go ahead and check him out. So, he does have a gold attack, which is pretty cool. So he has Leaf Blade, which is 90, Quick Attack, which is 30, and then Stealth Hit. This Pokemon can jump over its battle opponent and land one step away. So, it's kind of like Mew Shuttle Flip a little bit, so pretty cool. So there you see the whole evolution line of that Pokemon. So, that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. Skeptile was probably um, one of my favorite grass starter Pokemon. That they have he was just pretty cool and Trico um, was pretty cool too so let's see let's look at this Trevenant so Pokemon that have a battle this Pokemon become grass type while they're on the field but they stop being grass type if they leave the field so like if they're knocked out or benched <sighs> your Pokemon can move over this Pokemon when using an MP move point so it's kind of like a Giratina you can move past them or like a Torterra so that's pretty cool. Um, let's check out his wheel. So he has Destiny Bond, almost like a Ghastly. 110 Smash and, and Manipulate. What does Manipulate do? 
One other grass type Pokemon on the field that is not frozen may be moved within its MP range. The move Pokemon gains weight. Um, if the move Pokemon is one of the opponent's Pokemon, that Pokemon falls asleep. So that could be very useful. You can start putting their opponents to sleep and moving them out of the way. So that would be pretty cool. So, um, could definitely see some use there as well. So, let's check out Grovile, which is uh, basically the second stage of Trico and the one below Skeptile. So it's kind of like um, Skeptile's wheel a little bit. He does have gold attack and he does also have a leaf blade. So, let's see, at the start of your turn, instead of an MP point, you can move this Pokemon to a spot next to an adjacent grass type Pokemon. If there is a succession of grass type adjacent to the first, you may instead move this Pokemon to a spot adjacent to any of them. So that's pretty cool. You can uh, kind of rush out with him and use him. And then also his leaf blade, um, basically if you roll it twice, which it does have a pretty big um, portion to get that leaf blade. If you roll that twice, it does an extra 50 damage if you roll that t twice in a row. Because it basically lets you spin again. So you can get up to 120 damage with that leaf blade. So that could be very deadly. So that's pretty cool. So we have Lil again. Um, Petal Dance is what it has for its attack. So it doesn't look too, too great, but we'll see the use of that. Let's see. So you can, it's basically kind of like a multiplier attack, the Petal Dance. So you spin until Petal Dance does not land, and the damage is multiplied by the number of times you land on pedal dance so whether that be 30 60 or 90 whatever how many times you land on it so i could see that being useful just because it does have the plier but not too sure but uh let's check out this gold pack. that's pretty cool it has shuttle flip so basically uh, has an ability if the pokemon is poisoned um, basically that Pokemon will do minus 20 damage, so that's pretty cool. So, it does have Shuttle Flip, which is like the move that Mew has. It can take one to two steps back, or you can just leave him exactly where he's at. He does have a Poison Fang and a Noxious Fang, so, um, if you, um, basically hit someone with that Noxious Fang and you win, basically, uh, like, you, you either make them noxious, of course, um, if you get knocked out, but if you knock them out, then you just keep going. But uh, that's pretty cool. I'm glad to see some new 3MP Pokemon on the field. So that pretty much wraps it up for about now. These are some of the new figures that I see. So let me know if you guys get anything good out of the sex tuple packs. And um, I mean, if you guys are buying any gems, you know, let's see what you guys get. So. Um, definitely excited. I really kind of want this uh, Verizion or the Skeptile. Those would both be great Pokemon. This Trevenant is also pretty cool as well. Now, I wouldn't mind a Grovile, but definitely a pretty cool banner. So I think it's a lot better than the Fire Gym Cup. So thanks again for watching, guys, and checking out the figures. And uh, uh, like and subscribe.